In Bob Chapek's first 100 days as CEO, COVID has hit every single part of the media giant's business. The NBA suspending its season and the end of live sports in March kicked off the drag on ratings at ESPN and ABC, followed by Disney suspending all cruises and closing all its parks, a blow to the company's biggest division. After executives took pay cuts, April started with Chapek announcing furloughs of some 100,000 employees. Things started to turn around in May with Disney Plus announcing nearly 55 million paying subscribers, far surpassing projections. May 11th, Disney Shanghai reopened, followed by Disney Springs outside Disney World, and the company's plan to reopen the Orlando Park in July was approved. JPEG is now reacting to protests, pledging that Disney will donate $5 million to support nonprofits that advance social justice. And with Disney shares down about 4% since JPEG became CEO, crisis management expert Eric Diesenhall says, quote, JPEG is conveying stability and a surprising minimum of drama, which is a good start. Now, JPEG's challenges include the phased reopening of the domestic parks amid weakened consumer spending, the fact that Disney's Mulan will be one of the very first films to be released back in theaters, and an advertising recession.